From Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition, this is KOMU 8 News. Hello everyone, you're taking a live look over Columbia, Missouri. That's where University of Missouri is and we are here inside Studio 8A at KOMU TV. I'm Blake Hansen. And I'm Nina Moyni. We're here at the NBC affiliate in Columbia and as a part of our classes here, we get a chance to report and anchor and produce these daily newscasts. Yeah, Nina and I were in the flash a while back in 07 and 08. We did a lot there and it helped us transition out into this professional newsroom, which is why we want to take a little brief moment today uh, to thank Dr. Krebs for helping us get our start. That's right. We're really fortunate to have the great broadcast program that we do at Eastview and we really encourage you all to take full advantage of it, especially if you're really excited and interested in broadcast and we're, we think it's just so great that Dr. Krebs is going to be starting a similar program at Burnsville High. Yeah, we always call Mizzou the number one journalism school in the world. It was the first J school, and so there's a lot of alumni out in the real world that helped each other network, get jobs. We call it the Mizzou Mafia, but now with so many people coming from Eastview and Mizzou and working at KOMU, we've kind of developed our own Eastview Mafia that right. will help us get some <laughs> jobs in the future, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so again, congrats to you, Dr. Krebs, for helping create a successful program over at Eastview. I know it's inspired us to really get involved in journalism and best of luck at Burnsville High School. Thanks Krebs. Thanks. Congratulations Mr. Krebs. This is Judd Turk from class of 2003. I had the, the privilege of being on the flash for two years and also uh, spending some of my my study hours with you putting together the, the academic yearbook. A lot of the things that I learned uh, in the flash and, and through Mr. Krebs is a uh, teaching I'm still using today in the, the production process. Uh, currently working in marketing for a college. Uh, a lot of the, the steps that I needed to take to, to get videos through and, and up um, are the same things that I, I work with today. So I appreciate everything that I, I learned from you, Mr. Krebs, and uh, continue to passing that knowledge on to, to future generations. Hey Mr. Krebs, it's Matt Hurl from the class of 2008. I'm currently going to school in New York City and I'm working as a PA on the Gail King Show, which is a daily news and entertainment show on the Oprah Winfrey Network. I just wanted to congratulate you on all of your successes and achievements at Eastview. You've influenced so many people and so many students along the way and I personally wanted to thank you for helping me find a career that I truly, truly enjoy. Now I don't know if you remember this, but one of my favorite memories from The Flash was when our class found out that you were a doctor. Now we tried to call you doctor or Dr. Krebs, but you refused to answer to any of us until one day you let it slip that you were the doctor of love. So on that note, doctor of love or Dr. Krebs or Mr. Krebs, I wanna thank you and I want to wish you the best for everything that's gonna to come to you in the future. Thanks, bye. Being in The Flash was a pretty great experience for me. It ended up solidifying something that I wanted to do for my career. And I went to Eau Claire and worked at the TV station there and actually became production manager there and station manager. And it was something where I would never have gotten there if I hadn't been in The Flash. Hey, Adam Nelson here. I am a freelance producer out in Southern California and I am currently producing my very first feature film. I am a Flash alumnus and I graduated from Eastview back in 2005. You know, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in today if it wasn't for your support and encouragement all those years ago. You provided me with an environment to explore my creativity through the means of broadcasting and multimedia, and I wouldn't be nearly as far in my career as I am today without it. You have so strongly influenced not only myself, but everyone who has had the opportunity to call you their coach teacher, and friend. So with that, here's wishing you all the best in everything you do, and good luck at Burnsville. Hi, I'm Steph McKenzie in class of 2005. I just want to say thanks to Mr. Krebs for being such a great teacher. Now that I'm a teacher, I'm trying to adopt his calm approach to teaching when chaos is happening all around him. Mr. Krebs got flustered all the time. He, at least once a week, would storm out of class and just leave us to figure out what we were going to do for the show. And it worked out great. We always figured it out somehow. 
<laughs> so what I remember and what I think is in part why the Flash was so much fun and why like people love being in this classroom is that he's a guy that I don't ever recall him ever losing his cool. Like he was just always just an even keeled guy who the guy was unflappable. Like if he was a hummingbird, he would drop out of the sky. You know, <laughs> you couldn't phase him. And that was, that was great. There was always a relaxing, fun atmosphere in here, which aside from getting to play around with cameras and do stories and stuff, that's part of what made this so much fun. Mr. Krebs got flustered all the time. You know, I don't remember specific instances a lot, but I just remember the overall feel of really enjoying going to fourth hour every day. And when 11.05 came around, knowing that um, just that exhilarating rush of being on camera like that is something that I won't forget. And uh, thank you, Mr. Krebs, for creating that and creating that space for us to do those cool things. Mr. Krebs, it's McKenna Ewan from the class of 2006. I just wanted to say congratulations on the new opportunity. And I also want to say thank you for all of your hard work over the years. I know that if it wasn't for you and Mr. Fornicoya, I probably wouldn't have a lot of the opportunities that I've had to this day. Uh, so I just want to say thank you. Uh, I also thought I would note that out of all the videos that I've done, uh, even some of the videos being picked up by national news organizations or Huffington Post or Drudge, the most watched video that I've ever produced was actually in the halls of ECU High School. We put this up on YouTube and 90,000 people have watched this video. Thanks again for all your help, Mr. Krebs, and best of luck at Burnsville High School. Hey, Dr. Krebs. Thanks a lot for all the good memories we had at Eastview High School and in the Flash Studio. Yeah, we just want to say thanks a lot. We really appreciate all the nice things you've done for us growing up and couldn't imagine all the trouble us kids would have gotten into if we weren't spending all our time locked up in the Flash Studio. Dr. Krebs, thanks for inviting me on the Flash after having to put up with my two older brothers here and just thanks for all the good memories. Good luck in the future from the Olsons. Up and coming TV news anchors. That's tonight's Kids Corner. Kristen, I guess that would make us down and going news anchors. <laughs> Unfortunately. Kale, most of us in television news went to school for many years before setting foot on a new set. But a class in Apple Valley is way ahead of the game. Eyewitness News reporter Heather Filkins introduces us to some junior broadcast journalists. It's the last day before holiday break at Eastview High School. Here we go. And the students are a bit giddy, but not for the reason you might think. We have those three holiday stories. This class will go live in just a few minutes. Let's check these cameras. Let's but the dry run through start now. We have a jam-packed show for you today. This is The Flash, a high school news class that puts on a live show every week. Flash reporter Jenny Jones. There are anchors and camera operators, sound techs, and even a director. I think they, I think they like the teleprompter. It's as real as it gets, which is why this class is one of the most popular in school. They're doing real life skills. They're learning to work in teams. They're meeting deadlines. So let's take a look back. And in the four years they've been producing television, demand to get into the class has far exceeded the supply of spots available. You're producing your own stories, you're shooting and editing, and it feels like it's an actual job. So it just doesn't feel like a class. It, to me, it feels like you're, you're doing something important and doing something real. Something real and something worldwide. Remember to get out and decorate your Christmas tree. Yep, this newscast has a distinction of high honor. 
Thanks, Jenny. Yep, we're the first high school in the world to go live on the web. And for some, the adrenaline rush is so addictive, they plan to make TV production a part of their future. I really enjoy it. I just like the, all the freedom and where you're just not like, you don't have to stay in one place. You can go do whatever you want. And so I'm looking into it. I might major or minor, look for some future in it. I guess this would be the same without it. When the teleprompter spins its last word and the show comes to a close, there's a definite sense of pride in the job well done. Because they take ownership in it, they do a fantastic job. So have a good one. Yeah. See you later. In Apple Valley, Heather Filkins, Eyewitness News. G'day East G and uh, g'day uh, Tyler Krebs. I just wanted to say a massive congratulations to you. Um, it's not very often that you find a person that you uh, can work with that is such a, um, a good educator and really has uh, the student's best interests at heart. And uh, what I've seen you do at Eastview is nothing short of incredible. And I just want to say a massive congratulations to you. I know that you'll be very much missed um, as part of the Eastview community. And I um, congratulate you on your new position and I hope everything goes well. Um, to everyone uh, else, uh, yeah, g'day from Australia, down at the beach here. Uh, it's a fantastic, I'm actually working right now, I'm just taking a little break, uh, checking out the views, so, but yeah, big congratulations, and I really enjoy the night, I, I definitely wish I could be there, and I look forward to seeing uh, yourself, Krebs, and everyone else at the end of the year. See you later. Hey Krebs, Brittany Larson here. I graduated from ECU in the class of 2006, and since then, I received my Bachelor of Arts degree in Journalism at Minnesota State University, Mankato. And here I am at my first job as a nightside reporter at KYC TV. And I just wanna say thank you so much. I feel very fortunate to be a part of The Flash because what I'm doing today is exactly what I learned when I was a senior in high school, and that's pretty cool. And I also wanna take this time to congratulate you on this new opportunity at Burnsville High School. That's very exciting, and also being a head football coach will be very cool as well. So best of luck, and again, congratulations. Hi, Mr. Krebs. Congratulations on your new job at Burnsville High School. They're gaining such an amazing coach and mentor and teacher, and they're so lucky to have you. And I, we are so sad to see you go from Eastview, but I know you're on to bigger and better things. Um, I just want to say thank you for all the work you've put into the multimedia department at Eastview over the years. Uh, it really is what it is because of the dedication that you've shown to the program and I can attribute so much of my success to the confidence that I gained coming out of that program and I think a lot of my friends can say the same. So thank you so much for all the hard work that you've done and we're really going to miss you. Hey Mr. Krebs, this is Michael Gantz. I'm currently the senior producer here at WBNS 10 TV in Columbus, Ohio. Just want to say congratulations on the new job and the end of an era um, at The Flash. I have to say, I definitely wouldn't be here right now doing this job if it wasn't for your class. As a director, I, you're in charge of making sure that all this area in the core and the anchors and everyone's basically working together. Before the show, I usually have to um, I take a script and I plan camera shots of what cameras I'm going to take when the anchors are saying different things. I loved all the freedom you gave us to um, have fun, explore new things, and uh, meet some really cool people. I think uh, one of my favorite parts of your class was all the little phrases and inside jokes we had. Uh, you know, we have plenty of switches here, but never had to flippy any of them. Um, I also appreciated how you always stuck up for us, maybe on the controversial stories or things like the man show. Um, anyway, just wanted to say congratulations again, and uh, sorry I couldn't be there for your celebration. All right, is it working? Is it check? How's my hair? Oh, good. Good. Okay. Good. Take like twenty. Okay. Is it teleprompter. We got teleprompter. Script? Good. Good. Hey, Krebs. Hi, Krebs. <laughs> it's Hannah Erickson and Anna Morse checking in from Ames, Iowa, on the Iowa State University campus. <laughs> seriously, Krebs, you're seriously leaving Eastview? Well. Rude. Although we're sad to see you go, Burnsville is very lucky to have you. Our Flash 2009 crew really, truly became a family, and you're definitely a big part of it. Between the countless hours spent and one of the editors working on a story, or you trying to pull teeth just to get us to volunteer, we'll never forget the time spent in the EVTV studio. And thank you so much for this opportunity. 
The Flash was definitely a huge factor in helping me choose my major as graphic designer. Always remember, you can't make chicken salad out of chicken poop. Signing off for The Flash, this is Ha Ha Ha, ha Anna. Anna. Flash. <laughs> That's three. You're out. What? He was safe! This is ridiculous! Yeah, yeah, exactly! So I just pulled into work here. My name is Mitch Gonzalez. Uh, I graduated class of 2004. I had Mr. Krebs in tons of classes. I took him uh, for multimedia, advanced multimedia, The Flash. Uh, I also did independent studies with Mr. Krebs, where he mentored me. Um, and I also played East View football. Uh, so I got to know Mr. Krebs very well. Um, some of my best memories of Mr. Krebs were just after school, just hanging out, talking. Um, my favorite stories from Mr. Krebs came from story time. And probably the funniest story I remember was when he was telling us the story when he got kicked out of class from Mrs. Sherwin for making these funny noises in class going like, choo -choo, choo -choo. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good one. Uh, so I'll say thank you, Mr. Krebs, for all the great memories and everything that I've learned to get me to where I am today. Um, I'm working on my third feature for the year, uh, this year, uh, as a visual effects animator in the feature film industry. Hi, my name is Jacob Kinberg, uh, class of 04. Um, we are here in Venice, California. Uh, this is the office of the latest feature film that I'm working on. Um, I can say without a doubt, Mr. Krebs is the most influential teacher in my life. He, uh, I wouldn't be here without him. And uh, when I came into Eastview, I had a, a passion for filmmaking. It's what I always knew I wanted to do, and he inspired me and encouraged me in that passion and gave me the tools to do exactly what I'm doing today. He's one who taught me how to edit, taught me how to make movies, so... Uh, I owe it all to him. I'm Kyle Spahn, class of 2004, and I just wanted to say thank you to Tyler Krebs uh, for being one of the best teachers I've ever had throughout the years. That's including college professors. Um, he's been a great mentor to me throughout my life. Um, really, a lot of classes with him, a lot of time spent, and I've stayed in touch with him over the years. Um, I just wanted to say thank you, and Eastview is losing one of its best. Thank you so much, Mr. Krebs, for all the opportunities you gave me at Eastview. I know that it has impacted my life tremendously. I know I don't know where my life would be without it. It just, there was so much that I can take from it back then and had me so involved then. Uh, the kids at Burnsville are going to be pretty lucky to start, start this program over there, and hopefully they'll have as, you'll have as much impact on them as you did on me. The idea behind The Flash is that, you know, the biggest thing I would say is that it's completely student driven. So what we're dealing with is we have a goal which is to create a show every week and that's where we start and anything that happens from there is completely designed, created, finished um, by students. I guess one of the things that impressed me about Mr. Krebs a lot was really no matter what happened, even if we were live and something was going just horribly wrong, like we might all be freaking out but he wouldn't freak out. And the other thing that was interesting is he might give a little bit of direction, but mostly he would just sort of watch and observe, unless it was just getting super out of hand, maybe he would jump in. But that was something that to his credit, um, when things went wrong, I think it takes, you know, a lot of, um, well, I don't know, a lot of things just to be able to kind of stand back and let your students sort of figure it out for themselves. Um, because we were all, pretty much prepared for how to handle it um, and we knew what to do and he knew that so he would just sort of let it happen and let us fix it. This is Becca Haberger, bureau reporter, multimedia journalist for KWWL-TV, Iowa's News Channel 7. Krabs, I am a Dubuque bureau reporter for Waterloo-based NBC affiliate KWWL-TV, and I owe it all really to you and to Fort Akoya. I really did the Flash program at Eastview High School. I'm a 2005 graduate. I did the Flash during the 04-05 school year, and I want to say that any journalistic success I may have in my life, I truly owe to the Flash and my experience there. Now, I 
wanted to be on The Flash since I was an eighth grader at Falcon Ridge Middle School. Every year I watched the program, even on closed circuit access cable TV, which as we know in Apple Valley is thrilling programming. But I did watch The Flash and I couldn't wait to be on it. And finally my senior year, I applied and I got it. And what I think has stuck with me uh, about you, Krebs, above everything else is your spirit of go for it, truly. It's something that has stuck with me. If we had an idea, a creative idea for credits perhaps, or a story, or maybe something was just kind of pushing the rules, you said, you know what? Go for it. And if there's any kind of backlash, it's your story and you take responsibility for it. Uh, so that sense of go for it, push the boundaries, uh, and, and reaping the rewards of that boundary pushing uh, is something that you have taught me that has really stuck with me. And so now, this uh, generation of inspired students that you have produced from Eastview High School, uh, and, and, and evidence of that is just look at all the people who are in media-related fields, whether it's reporting or public relations or, or sports writing, anything like that, uh, multimedia stuff. Krebs, you inspired them all. And now the students at Burnsville High School will be so fortunate to have your inspiration there. We'll miss you at Eastview High School and uh, uh, know, though, that your legacy lives on in the students who are doing journalism because you gave them a start and a chance on the flash. In Dubuque, Becca Habiger, Iowa's News Channel 7. So I want to say thank you, Mr. Krebs. You uh, were a great teacher to me, and uh, it was a blast having you in class, and uh, I really hope that you do uh, well in the future in the Girl Brinsels program. My name is Mikey Fornicoya, class of 2002. I am currently living out in Los Angeles, California, getting started on my fourth season of Sons of Anarchy. I'm an assistant editor on the show. I've been an editor on a feature recently and doing visual effects and playback and all different types of you know, stuff in the industry. And everything that I've learned throughout my editing career is all based off of what I've learned through EVTV in The Flash. First program I was on was the Street Logics Edit, which is now obsolete, but learning on that program is what I based everything else off of. I was just want to wish you the best luck, man. Thank you. And uh, one last thing, my favorite thing from going through the flash, I flip you the switch. <laughs> Take care, Krebs. Oh, we should probably also thank Forney the best of luck, too. I mean, I don't know what he's going to do without you. What's going to happen to the Krebs Akoya team? I'm not saying you guys are peas in a pot or anything, but I mean, you really can't have one without the other. But I guess it'll be nice because he'll get your office. You know, he's been in that corner for so long, but. You know, we'll see. Big shoes to fill. Not saying Forney can't do it. Just big shoes to fill. Uh, I think that Eastview is probably the best in the nation as far as uh, multimedia and broadcast journalism goes. Hands down. It was, I, I mean, the, the teaching and just overall atmosphere was awesome. And it got me to where I am today. Uh, so thank you so much again, Mr. Krebs. I wish nothing but the best for you and your family. That's three. You're out. What? He was safe. This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. I can't believe Mr. Krebs is going to leave Eastview after all these years. I know. You know, I was just thinking one of my favorite things was when he would read letters to us from alumni during class. You know, that makes me think, I wonder what he read the first year. Guys, I got some, uh, some emails from alumni. You want, want to hear them? Pretty good ones. Great. Dear Mr. Krebs, I had forgotten how awesome The Flash is. It's like super great. I learned crazy good stuff in there. And like, I'm awesome at using cameras and stuff now. Thanks. You're awesome. Everyone that's going through this class is going to be awesome like me. And I am awesome. Sincerely, any guesses? Anyone know? Martin Scorsese. The guy who did Goodfellas? Pretty high profile. It's right here. It's on the page. You're not even I'm, reading that. I'm not. I'm just totally reading it. Yeah, Scorsese, oh, here. Scorsese right? A lot of email doesn't make that much sense yeah. either. Dear Mr. Krebs, I'm such a great journalist, and I'm good at words, and you're great, and thank you for everything. 
you won't guess it. I'll just tell you. It's, it's Katie Couric. Katie Couric says, great. I got other ones too. Cindy Crawford. Sincerely, the Eurythmics. Walter Cronkite. Walter Cronkite? We ski together like twice a year. And we're on the same softball team. He doesn't play softball. You don't know that. He's he's well, not very, but... he's not very good. Are you hearing this? I mean, maybe he's just it's just a way to inspire people. Yes, I, we really gotta do something. She's got some really emails to read here. If I just spin around in this chair, how long do you guys think I can go? Let's see, let's see. Step it up, I guess so. Really still. I'm kinda worried about it. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Alright guys, I got a treat. Got a letter from two students from last year who actually look a lot like you guys. Dear Mr. Krabs, thank you for reading us all those ridiculous emails because they really inspired us to go out and be fantastic. We owe it all to you. Any guesses? Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Huh. If you'd said the Cohen brothers, I would have believed you. I wouldn't have. Right here. Can't read it because I'm, I'm going to frame it. Hmm. So that's how it happened. I'm Matt Damon. I'm Ben Affleck. And I'm Katie Couric. And we all wanted to say thank, thank you, Mr. Krabs, and good luck. luck.